Hello. It's 2 a.m. with me filming this. Are we surprised? Probably not. Hey guys, I'm back with another thrift haul and I have about 20 pieces here and they're mostly women's pieces. Um, but there's a couple like t-shirts in here I think, but most of them are like baby tees. I wanted to show you this t-shirt, this Rob Zombie House of a Thousand Corpses shirt I got off eBay for a literal steal. I've seen House of a Thousand Corpses shirts go anywhere from like $200 to like $600. I personally seen this print relisted online since I got it and it's amazing. I'm gonna have such a hard time selling it later on. And then also I have this Sayosin zip up jacket that I actually thrifted for like $3. And this is like one of my favorite like baggy zip ups to wear. It's just, it goes with literally everything I own. The first piece I'm gonna show you is something I got yesterday. It is one of my favorite things that I found um, in probably a very long time. A full like spiky red fur coat. It's obviously fake, but this spike, I love the spiky red. The next piece I have is a dress and it's like, uh, and it is a vintage one. I think it's 90s from the tag. It's Miss California. It's made in USA. This like 1960s, like very mod style dress. I can't wait to wear this. I want to get some like sheerish pink tights to wear up under this with some platform shoes. Textured puzzle piece shirt that looks kind of cow printy, but then you look at it and it's like puzzle pieces. It's really cool. Next one I have is this like Dalmatian printed cardigan. I'm thinking about cropping it at like the mid length, but I don't know. Next one I have is this blue and yellow Argyle little boy sweater. It's gonna be nice and tight, like a little baby tee type sweater. And once I re-dye my hair, I'm gonna wear this. It'll be really cute. And then I also found this purple and gray Argyle and it has these, um, crystally looking buttons on it. Got both of those from the kids section. They were $2.99 each. Next one I have is this really cool oversized Fat Albert FUBU tee. And the picture of Fat Albert right here is actually um, embroidered. It's a really nice t-shirt. Really nice, stretchy, juicy couture baby tee. The next one I found is this all over print Hello Kitty. It has a back on it too. It sucks just cause it's polyester, but I don't know. I, I think it's, I'll wear like a tank top up under it and it'll be fine or like a long sleeve t-shirt and then I won't even be able to feel it. So that's what I'll probably do. I love anything this brand, David and Goliath was such an early 2000s like staple back in the day. And this has that cute little girl on it and it says housework is evil and it must be stopped all over print on it. I like wearing all over print pajama pants like that with just like t-shirts, with like sneakers, platforms, anything, just to style it like during the day. Like it's so comfy, it's really cute. No one's gonna, who give, honestly, who gives a f if you're, someone's gonna question you and be like, oh my God, like, is that pajama pants? Yeah, it's pajama pants, they're cute. Skater style sweater, has these orange and tan and brown stripes on it. And then it has it on the sleeves as well right here. And it's really nice and comfortable too. Next piece I have is this really pretty bubblegum hot pink Harley Davidson embroidered cute shirt. It says Harley Davidson Cafe Las Vegas with a embroidered heart with um, like flame wings on it. Adorable. And then I also have another Harley piece tank top. It's a spaghetti strap top, double sided. The back right here. And the front has these um, rhinestones on it. And then the back says Savannah Harley Davidson on River Street. That's really cool because we're from Georgia. Super cool Y2K piece. It's a size large and it also has like this little lining inside, like a bralette type thing. That'd be awesome for my big boob bitches like me. So they can keep them contained in there. That'd be an awesome outfit. Next piece I have is this sleeveless turtleneck. Really pretty, really stretchy. It could fit numerous sizes. I'm more of the plus size type, like 
on the bottom more half, more so. Like I, on the top half, I can fit like from a kid's medium large to an extra large adult, depending on my sizing. But on the bottom half, it's a lot harder for me to fit into things because I got a big ass and hips. So that's more difficult. But on the top, that's why I buy more tops than anything because I can model that a lot more range of sizes uh, on my Depop than I can pants. And I hate flat leg stuff, but I'm gonna have to start doing that because I actually do have a lot of cute, smaller items, like bottoms wise, that I'm not putting on just because I, I don't have a model really to do that for me. So I'm just gonna have to just start flat laying my stuff and just let people know, hey, these are my measurements, all that shit. Next piece I have is this super rare Coco Rosie band tee. Has a narwhal on it. I think, let me see what's that. It has a crumpled up tag on it. But I think this is from like their 2010 album, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong, I'll put the actual date of the album right here, but I think it's 2010. But sometimes I'm a dumb bitch, so we don't know. Um, and this looks like a large, I cannot see this, but no. It's an extra large, actually. It's a really soft t-shirt, really cool. These are really rare. Zion Rootswear tag, and it's a size 1X, which is dumb, because this is not a 1X. This is like a medium. Marvin Gaye baby tee. Great graphic on there. And I think it's from 2005. Yeah, this is from 2005. Next one I have is also a baby tee. And it's Twilight New Moon with a sparkly graphic on it with Edward and Bella. And there, there's this little graphic on the back, sparkly. And this is a size Junior's Medium. And then I have two pieces left. The next piece I have is this. Okay, I wasn't gonna get this at first, but I was like, fuck it, I, I have to have this. Like, why would I leave this? Especially for $10, who, why? I'd be a dumb bitch if I left this. So it's this child size Diego to the rescue on the back, like NASCAR race style jacket. It is a kid's medium. So if it's like an extra small women's, or small, I'm still gonna rock it. It's kind of short on my, on my like, it comes like this right here on my sleeves, but I don't care, I'll wear extra sleeves up underneath it. Thought it was so cool. It's very nice embroidered. I washed it, it had a lot of stains on the white parts, but I just oxy cleaned it and washed it and it came right out. So yeah, super cool find. I love finding pieces like this. And then, hold on, here's the tag. And this one is from 2007, and it's licensed by Viacon, Nickelodeon. And then the last piece I have is really just amazing. Um, I'm gonna have to say, since this show stopped, and I think 2008 or 2010, I think it was 2008 when it left, like stopped putting out new stuff. But um, it's a youth large, which sucks, but I'm still gonna wear it. It's this code name Kids Next Door hoodie. This thing is so good. Look at this. Awesome. Love this. The only thing that sucks about this one, it doesn't have a licensing on it anywhere, but I still think it's sick that it's not on a printed tag or anything. So that. I feel like that's around like 2010-ish era when that came out, so that's still super sick to me. I've gotten a lot of DMs on Instagram after posting my story, even with grown men asking me about it, even though it is a kid's thing, I don't care, they still think it's sick. I'll be doing another two videos after this one, and I'm gonna try to get them out next week, and it's gonna be both with me and Robbie because we still have our um, antique vlog and haul that we want to put up that we both want to do together and we also have another thrift haul that we want to do together that we went together and he's got toys and I have clothing that we want to show off. I'll post on all my social medias whenever I have those um, edited and put up so if you want to follow that I'll have them linked down below and you can of course check out my Depop because I'll have all of these listed next week. I've been really 
slack on posting on my Depop. I'm sorry, that's gonna change next week. We're doing this this year. We're not slacking off, we're doing big things. I'll see y'all later, bye.